Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew from uh, ProducerSociety.com. Today I'm going to show you how to delete GarageBand and its sound library. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to give you the, uh, the simplest way to do it right away. Um, it's pretty simple. You, what you do to delete the main GarageBand files, libraries, and components, you can just follow this process right here. You go about this Mac, you go about this Mac, storage, storage, manage, manage, and you go down to music creation and then remove sound library and then you click that and that's going to get rid of the most of it and then you also want to drag and drop the garage band icon to your trash or you can uh, like right click it and delete it that way that's the main way that you you can do it that's the quickest way there's also a more sophisticated way of going about it where you delete everything it's more thorough and what you do for that is you go uh, you go to your computer's screensaver and you go go right here. Then you go into your applications and you can delete it this way. Move to trash. And then uh, after that, you can uh, after that you go back to the about this Mac and then uh, you bring up this. Click on manage again and then. Uh, you go down here. By the way, I got a present for you. Go to producersociety.com slash free mixing cheat sheet. That'll put you on my list to get a free mixing cheat sheet. And I send all kinds of cool tips and stuff that I don't share anywhere else. You can also join my forum at forum.producersociety.com. Um, for now, it's totally free to sign up, but uh, in the future, I'll probably lock it down and then turn it into a full course platform. Um, hold on. Oh, I guess I already showed you how to do that. So what you do is you go go, and then you hit the option key and you bring up your library, and then you go into your audio like this, right? And then you delete all these. Now, be careful when you're deleting Apple Loops because if you use Logic Pro X, you're gonna delete the loops for Logic Pro X as well. So just keep that in mind, you know, so you wanna delete all that stuff right there. Um, and what else can you do here? There's another way of going about it. You can also go back to go again, and then uh, then you click on where where are you? Oh, there you go. And then home, and then you go down to your music, and then you see all this stuff right here. You can delete it. Like your audio music apps, samples, yada yada yada, plugin settings, sampler to instruments. Then there, here's the garage bin here. All the files that I have saved on the computer right now, you can delete all those as well. Delete it that way. Um, and there's some more things that you can do as well. Uh, so you go hit on uh, go and then computer and you're in your Macintosh HD setting like this and then you can delete uh, you know application support Apple loops the Apple loops index MIDI configurations all this stuff right here and you know that's obviously underneath your application support and your audio as well so yeah that's another way of doing it and that's pretty much it those are the main ways of doing it if you follow that method you're going to do the the vast majority of of what needs to be done so um and that's pretty much it for this video there's nothing else for me to say about this topic i don't know why you would want to delete GarageBand, but i mean some people want to i guess if you don't use it then you know it makes sense to delete it because it takes up quite a bit of space on your hard drive you know it takes probably 30 megabyte or excuse me 30 gigabytes of space in total if you have a a lot of files saved to, to your computer. But uh, yeah, that's it, man. Um, hope this video was helpful to you, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace.